What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today we're talking showcases and how to hack the system to gain maximum college exposure. So if you got a showcase coming up, you're looking to play college baseball, this is one you're not going to want to miss. Make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. First off, let's talk about the exit velocity test. A lot of the times they're just going to have you get your raw exit velos off a tee into a net and they're going to radar gun, you know, five or so swings. That's just because college coaches now more than never are holding that exit velocity to a higher standard. So you wouldn't think much of this test, right? You would come up wherever the tee is placed, the coach would place a ball on the tee, and then you would simply just try to hit a ball into the net as hard as you can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reenact that with Danby here. All right, so we have the tee set up as you know a coach would set up for kids at showcases, right? And we're just gonna cue Danby. Hey, swing as hard as you can, try to hit this baseball as hard as you can. So here's the radar gun, we have it set up. Good, 95 miles an hour on his first swing. Obviously an elite exit velo off a tee, but now let's hack the system a little bit. Dansby just hit one 95 miles an hour. Here, it's a little bit over belt high. Okay, for this test, all that you're gonna do is slide this tee out in front. You wanna get extended on the pitch because you're gonna have most leverage, most whip on that extension. Then we're gonna go low. So the bad angle is coming down and hard onto the ball. So we're gonna shoot it low out in front of that front foot. And now another big cue is instead of hitting the ball in the air to create that backspin, which obviously you wanna do right in a game, but for this test, I want you to try to hit a hard ground ball, pull side, you know, a little bit past the shortstop. Okay, so that's gonna cause that barrel to slap down on that baseball and create the highest exit below we possibly can. So instantly, let's see the differential between you know max effort swings just on tee placement. So come behind. Okay, so now we have the tee set up low. He's gonna try to hook it down into the ground, try to get that biggest exit below possible here. Look at that, 102 miles an hour. Can I recall it? Bang. Next important thing, okay, is that 60 yard dash. And this is a very simple tip. If you do not run an elite level 60 yard dash for your position, very simple. Figure out a way to get out of it, okay? Back in the day, what I used to do is I would run like an over a seven 60 yard dash and I was an outfielder. And I know how important these college coaches hold it. So you show up to a showcase, very first thing is you run that 60. If it's not elite, they'll cross your name off, not even watch your BP, not even watch you throw. So to prevent that from happening, okay, make up an excuse. I always used to go into showcases saying, oh, sorry coach, I got you know a bumped hamstring. Is it okay if I don't run the 60 yard dash? With all the kids at these showcases, they're gonna say, sure, that's fine, and not think twice about it. So my advice to you is don't flash a bad number, just try to get out of it. It's better not running it than all than to show, you know, over a 760. All right, the next tip that we have for you, when you hit at showcases, think about how many swings you're getting. At most, you may get 10 swings to try to stand out, you know, among the rest of, could be hundreds of other kids there. Dansby brought up a good point as we were making these videos. He used to work at these big showcase camps and he used to throw BP to these kids. So what did you say to me earlier? So if you're getting a round of 10 swings and you want to stand out, don't go up there and try to get loose and flick five oppo. From the minute you get in the cage, let it eat. You got to open eyes. So we're talking homers, gap to gap, all 10 swings, no oppo. Yeah, get the ball in the air. You don't necessarily have to think no oppo, but kids get in there and they're just trying to fill it out, slap it for their first couple of swings. Now they're wasting swings. Coaches want to see that raw power, that raw swing. Go up there, try to hit balls over the scoreboard, try to blast them into the trees. You only get eight swings to prove yourself. Those better be the best eight swings you've ever taken in your entire life. The next tip I have for you is when they get their radar gun out and radar gunning your throws, you know, whether it be from the infield, the outfield, etc is gaining momentum into that throw. Obviously, when you're playing a real baseball game, you wanna to try to get that thing out quick. You know, if it's a ground ball, you wanna shuffle, try to get it out quick. However, in a showcase setting, all that they really are looking for is that raw arm strength. So 
whether it be you're getting a ground ball in the outfield, you can almost make it like a pull down where you're running and sprinting and gaining that momentum so you're releasing it, you know, at your max velocity. Same thing in the infield. You see these big name guys, you know, at showcases at perfect game, throwing 100 miles an hour across the infield. Watch how all those guys are doing it. They're getting the ground ball and basically shuffle running into the throw, not just getting it out like a real game setting. Like I said before, all they care about is what that radar gun number says. So you get your ground ball, go two or three shuffles, make sure you gain that momentum so you get the highest possible velocity out of your throws. So my last tip of you for the day is relatively simple. However, no kids are doing this, which you really need to. This is something that I did back in the day that really helped my recruiting process and what I coach my kids coming through my program to do. If you sign up for a showcase, go into that showcase pamphlet and you can see what schools have promised to be out there, okay? What you're going to do is email all of those universities individually before the showcase with your recruiting video, with your information, letting them know that you're attending this showcase. That will give you, you know, a good opportunity to get on that coach's whiteboard and to give that coach a reason to watch your entire workout. You know, you already showed that you're interested in that university by emailing them, so you did that coach's job for him. Now all he has to do is show up and watch your talents, okay? Coaches don't like working hard. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If recruiters uh, for college can take the easy way out, have the kid do it for them, have the kid do all the heavy lifting for them, you know, their job is set. So they're gonna look at the easiest possible way. You showing them right off the bat that you're interested, checks you off on their list. So they're more than likely to come watch your entire workout. Hey, that's a wrap. Thanks for checking in. Make sure when you sign up for your showcase, you go and implement the tricks that I just showed you that's gonna maximize your chances, you know, of getting on that college whiteboard, hearing back from these college coaches, right? Also, if you have a showcase coming up, I have a really good selling program that kids are getting very good results out of called Showcase Prep Program. It's a 14 week program to build exit velo, build throwing velocity, and to decrease your 60 yard dash. You can get that in the description below. Also, always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week, so do me a favor and subscribe. I appreciate you, we'll catch you next week. Game rewards are grind, it knows how much you've invested.